Well, I think tall buildings have a bad rap, actually. You know, people are always saying, how can a tall building be sustainable? But actually, if you look at it holistically as part of a greater dense urban development, they can actually be a great part of that equation for sustainability. Not only does density, particularly if you choose the right place to put the tall building, say as part of a transport-oriented development, you can not only um, bring a lot of people together, but also reduce the amount of vehicle trips that you might have around a city. So overall, if you look at it um, in isolation, I can see how some people might say, are tall buildings sustainable? But when you look at it in a larger city context, if we're able to reduce the amount of car trips by 30, 40%, of course that's going to be part of the um, sustainability equation. What I think is really interesting around high-rise innovation right now is actually around the way we're producing the buildings. For, for many, many years, in-situ concrete was king. But now when you see, start seeing some of the advanced manufacturing that you're seeing come along, modular construction, prefabrication, using advanced materials, it really kind of opens a Pandora's box about what is possible. Not only about the kind of shapes and geometry you can create, but also around productivity and also about site safety, also about energy efficiency. It's really amazing. Some of the things we're seeing now with 3D printing and robotics, I mean, I can't wait to see how the tall building is going to be produced in the next 20 years. Mm. The most inspiring high-rise project in the world? Well, there's so many of them. I mean, what's great about you know, our new high-rise department is we've got a global footprint you know, with over 25 projects ongoing. And I guess it would be a little bit selfish to say it's a ramble project. But for me personally right now, I'd say some of the great stuff we're doing here in Scandinavia. And because it, we really hit it at the right time. Basically, uh, the new spearhead has allowed us to start bringing in our global competence back to where we've got this really great strong market position. And we've just hit it where Scandinavia has just seemed woke up, boom they're starting to think about tall buildings. And we're seeing lots of great projects springing up all over in our urban centers. So right now we're doing the tallest residential building in Denmark. We're doing the tallest commercial buildings in Helsinki. We're working on some of the tallest buildings in Oslo and actually doing the tallest skyscraper in the European Union. And it happens to be in Scandinavia. Now that's a, that's a dream project. Sweden is an interesting place, and I think the, this happens for everywhere in Scandinavia. Good tall buildings are all about context. And in Sweden, and like in our other Nordic countries, it needs to be a reflection of the people's values and you know, what the people find important. So I think we're all searching right now, what, is, what does good high-rise design mean in Sweden? And I think that's something for the, you know, the public has to answer with our good you know, local designers and architects. I think there's a there's part of the population that you know there's there's a bit of resistance for going tall but as you're seeing over the next three to five years you can start seeing these little projects popping up and as that starts to happen I think people will see what's possible and start to dream about high-rise buildings as well in Stockholm and the rest of Sweden. Yeah. I think it's really fantastic that we're having this uh, Go Tall Stockholm event here with David Scott, the former CTBOH chairman. It's really supporting what we're trying to do, bring, you know, the, creating some excitement and, and raising the knowledge base about how to do good tall building design in Scandinavia. And so I'm looking forward to how we can take events like this and bring in global experts like David to build our local CTBOH Scandinavia chapter.